Hey boys and girls, CampingGearTV.com. I'm Ben. We're back with one more episode with Rob, our kayaking expert. And today we're going to be talking about just a few of the accessories, you know, that you can use in a... Oh my, they're making a hoopla over there. Uh, some of the accessories to use when kayaking and then also uh, some different types of paddle shapes and what paddles are, are good for uh, uh, what kayaking use. So I'll let Rob take it away, maybe talk about okay. some of the accessories we have here real quick. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start in the back. Some people like me like a little cush in the tush. There's many different kinds of pads for your boat seats. This one is uh, inflatable and adjustable. I like that. This thing is something you don't really want to ever have to use. But in the event, if you capsize out in the middle of the lake, you get back in the boat, there's going to be water in your boat. And you're going to have to get it out. You can either use Mallory sponge. That takes too long. Or this pump. And basically it just works like this. And pulls a serious amount of water out quickly. So it gets you out of trouble. Especially if it's cold water. How many times have you used that? I've used it twice, unfortunately. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> sure it does. Um, talk about uh, paddle design. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of paddles out there. Basically, different blade shapes and different blade cambers. Pretty much what it's all about. Um, the advanced elements one, that has a completely different shape than this. This just basically lets entry into the water easier, a little bit quicker. And as you can see, it's a little bit skinnier. When you get into a blade like this, it's got a little more camber to it, but it's very narrow. This is what I like to use on long tours because you're not pushing so much water. You get your hull up to speed and you just basically have to paddle less and still maintain your same speed. So a this is a quicker paddle here? Yes. Faster yes. paddle? Uh-huh. Um, different types of paddle style. This one has got offset blades. So when you're paddling, you're actually doing this. And basically the reason, two reasons, one, when you come in the water and you come out, the blade's coming out flat, so you're not pushing water backwards. And it also is moving your wrists to kind of keep circulation going. It's a little more comfortable. Uh, that one happens to be a one-piece paddle. And there's a lot of them that just come out, come in two pieces for storage. These are called drip rings. Nice to have when you pull the blade, blade out of the water, the water hits it and comes off and doesn't come back inside your boat. Very nice to have. And let's talk. So if I can ask one sure. question, how, if you're a beginning kayak enthusiast, you know, how do you know what paddle you're, you're going to be wanting to pick? Is it a trial by error sort of deal, or um, stylistically, is there a paddle that goes, you know, uh, maybe one for whitewater rafting or one for racing? Right, right. I would stick with a blade like this. It's a good all-around recreational blade. It comes in two pieces so storage is easy. You don't have it riding in the back of your head in your car on your on your way back and forth to the lake. Um, so yeah, something like this. And it's certainly economic that would drive it too. What's a good paddle? What, what is an expensive paddle cost? What's uh, maybe an average paddle cost? Um, this is an average paddle and this came in at like $70. Um, this one, this is a basically aluminum and plastic. Uh, this paddle here is carbon fiber, so this is probably about a $400 paddle now. Sure, probably right wow. in that neighborhood. Yeah, they can get expensive, but then they're super light. Right. Yeah. You know? Extremely light. Yeah. Actually, really right. light. Right. And then a middle of the road expensive one. This is a graphite one. This one comes in at about a hundred and a quarter. Sure. All right. What else do we got here? Um, to talk about the important thing, PFDs. Mm -hmm. uh, personal flotation devices. Uh, they make them specifically for paddle sports. Uh, essentially they're, they're shorter and so they're a little thicker to hold your weight up. Okay. Uh, they're a lot more comfortable to use. You got a large arm area. Okay. Is that I guess to accommodate your rowing the whole time? Exactly. Exactly. Um, as opposed to like, like this is like a regular water ski and vest. Doesn't you can look see, it's, it's a whole lot longer. It doesn't look like this would accommodate the rowing as much. Exactly, and then when you sit down in your boat, this pushes up, and you just bounce against the back of your head. Not sure. real comfortable. I'm going to let Josh use this 
today just because I thought I would. Because he looks cute in it. He does. It's his color. Matches his eyes. And uh, that's pretty much it. Don't forget your rope. Always got to have rope. You have to tie your boat up when you beach it on the faraway shores. So that's our episode for today. Check us out later. CampingGearTV.com. Peace. Peace. <laughs>